Hey guys, what's up? This is Joe from Merch University. And um, I just kind of want to show you uh, some really basic things on Adobe Illustrator. Um, so I'm going to start off by um, somebody has asked me just like to make some videos. And so I just want to start really basic. And um, this is something that I made. It uh, just says merch and, you know, has letters, different colors, and, you know, and, you know, I put it, I was, you know, was able to change them. And move them around a little bit and I want to show you how to make this so um, so let's let's erase this right here let's erase this erase this background erase this all right so first of all it's really simple come over here to the text box um, and then you come over here to your screen and then I have a laptop so I push the button uh, the left button down and then I drag this just across here. Doesn't matter how big, or it doesn't have to be even yet. We're just um, getting <clears throat> getting the words on here. And actually, um, and then when then when your let your letters pop up, sometimes they come in like and they're like on the twelve size twelve point over here. If you can see how it says eight hundred, usually this is already on twelve. Just come over <clears throat> come over here, change it to um, change it to eight hundred. And then you can go ahead and type in um, the the font that you want, or type in the the word that you want. Then over here you can change the font and your list of fonts over here. You can change whatever, however you like it. But uh, for now we're just going to use this uh, Norwester. And then uh, from there, once we have our um, once we have that, uh, we got to put it. You can either change, like I said, you can either change the size by coming over here and um, making this like maybe 1200 and then you could change it like that or there's another way I'm going to show you how for example if it was on 500 um, you can leave it like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to make this um, merch where you can uh, make everything individually like how you saw in the preview and so, um, and so that is called create outlines. And so, what you do is you'll come over here to the selection tool, um, and then you'll come to type. And then, right after you go go to the selection, after you go, you have to get out of the text. You have to go to selection tool. After you know, this is still highlight has this box around it. You come to type, and then you right down here below it says create outlines. <clears throat> so all you do is come here, create outlines, and you'll just click it. And then right then and there, it already created the outlines for you. And um, and just I'm just going to show you what you can do with it. So instead of coming over here, and as you can see, um, how if you wanted to change the font or the font size, you can't. But you can over here. All you do is come over here, grab the edge right here, and um, make sure you hold the shift key down. And so once you hold the shift key down, and then you 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 grab it with your mouse, you're able to drag it out. <clears throat> like this just drag it out however big you want however big you want it so this is grouped together this is grouped together so if you want to change the color you can but it's going to be all red or it's going to be all yellow or all you know blue or whatever color you would you would like it to be anyways um <clears throat> so from here we need to ungroup it so it's grouped together you can see it's already highlighted we it's on there um, make sure you, it's like this and then you'll come up here to object here on the top come to object and then from here it is un, uh, it's grouped so the only the next op option is to ungroup it so we're gonna ungroup it right here so now what really what ungroup it means is it means that these are now can be moved <clears throat> any way they want you can move them around you can change them these are just you know basic movements of how you, what you can do with them so I'm just you know showing you some basic stuff you can move with them so here you go alright and then from there you can change the colors of course maybe we'll make that one yellow this time make that one blue maybe we'll make that one orange or peach orange and we'll make that one this art yeah there we go that's fine
And we'll make this one green. <clears throat> and then um, that's all you need to do. That's that's what you can do. And then you can you can move these around if you want. You can even make these bigger. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because you have full control. Make sure to hold the shift key down to keep it in the same form. So, you know, you can move those around. You know, click on the E. Move it around. Click on this R here. Move it around. It's up to you what you what you want to do. And so there, you know, and then you can, and then if, and then to put it, say you want to move that around, say that was your, say for example, that was your design. Um, you can highlight it again, and you can move it as a highlight, but I would say rather come back over to object, go back to group, now you can grab anywhere and move it around. There you go. <clears throat> you can move it around. You can make it smaller, make it a little bit smaller here, move it over here, you know, put it back in the middle, whatever you want. <clears throat> Sometimes I like to do, um, just for fun, just see what it looks like on the on a black shirt. I'll I'll come over here to the box section and get grab this rectangle and then I'll just grab this rectangle out and then I'll just pull it all the way down. <clears throat> Actually, let me make that better. Sorry, let me grab it here, and then I will pull it all the way down here, and then I'll make it black. And then what I'll do, I'll go to Object, and I'll push um, Arrange, and then I'll push Send to Back. There I go. And then from there, you can see, you know, see what you want, see what you want to do with it. You know, since it's grouped, remember it's grouped, so it automatically changes the color. So if you want to change the colors individually, you can, if you want to go back to the way it was, push Control Z, Control Z, and it'll change it back. But if you want to change the colors back to individually, of course, you're going to have to come back up to Object and ungroup it again. And then now you can, uh, you know, mess with the colors. So I hope that you've learned something through this. This is like a very basic you know, thing that you can do to start, you know, adding to your, you know, making shirts, making them kind of cool looking instead of just straight across the board. You can kind of move them around and change them up. So that's it for this uh, first lesson, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you guys.